Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to complete the shrine quest Ride the Giant Horse and create the Ishokin Shrine. This is a pretty long quest, I'll take you through the whole thing. Just check the timestamps in the description below in case you just need a help with a specific part. But we are going to start this at the Highland Stable here in the Farron region. Our first order of business is to go catch a gigantic horse, and this thing is huge. That is located right here near the Lake of the Horse God and the Bridge of the Horse God right here. It's literally where the Horse God was in Breath of the Wild. Once we catch that, we need to ride along this road down here to the Darabin Plains, the Osira Plains, and then we need to get up here to Zokasa Ridge. This is probably not the hardest part of it, but it just takes a little while. Once we get here, there's going to be a gentleman who wants to see a giant horse. So we just talk to him while we're on top of the horse. And then he will fork over the shrine crystal that we just bring to the shrine. And it's a Roru's Blessing style shrine. Okay, let's get started. So we are going to, to ride along this sort of lake here. I'm taking a bit of a shortcut just to make this go faster. But you can see the road on my mini map. All right. And then we are going to go through this little ridge here. And I'm going to sort of make the conscious decision here to uh, register the giant horse. And that is because it is a rideable horse. It's, it's your horse to ride. Um, but... You know, if you choose, like, not to register it right away, you're going to have to catch it again. And uh, that's just no fun for everybody. Okay, so we want to head towards this smoke signal. We're heading east along this road now. And then I will warn you, there is a stone talus nearby. However, it's not going to bother us as long as we get past it quickly. It's this giant rock to the right. That is a stone talus, so that's going to pop up, and then the boss music is going to start playing, but we're not going to worry about it. All right, so cross over the horse god bridge, and you can hear the boss music queue up. It's all good. So these gentlemen are over here talking about the gigantic horse, and the gigantic horse can be found right through here. So this big white horse here, that is our target. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could drop down from above. It, you could do that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you're going to have a difficult time taming this horse. This does require about two full wheels of stamina, so you kind of can't do it until you've done that. You can do your best to sneak up on the horse, but more or less what you want to do is just, as soon as you get close, you want to mash A, because this thing's just going to see you right away. And then, once you get on, just start mashing L. So I'm mashing L with two fingers here, just tapping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There you go. It's tamed. It's now our horse. And then we can start riding it. We're going to go back to the stable to register it. And then we are going to start heading towards the shrine quest area. You don't need to start the shrine quest first. Um, you could just, you know, get the horse and then go to the shrine. Oh boy, please don't kick me off, thank you. He is wild, especially at the start, so you do need to be careful with him. Basically, just keep your finger on the L trigger, this way uh, you can always soothe it whenever it needs. Uh, you build a bond with this horse pretty fast, actually. You're probably gonna have like an 80 to 90% bond with this thing by the time you're done with the shrine quest. So, you know, by the time you get over there, it'll, uh, it'll start, you know, getting along with you just fine. The, uh, the only drawback to this horse in particular is that you cannot attach anything to it. You can't change the bridle. You can't change the harness. You can't uh, have it tow anything. Uh, you just... It, it is what it is. It's just a gigantic horse. It does what it wants. And uh, you, you can't tell it what to do, really. So we're going to bring it back to the stable. We're going to register it. And then we're going to get started on heading over to the Shrine Quest location. So yeah, as you can see, it's a bit of a smoother ride already. Everybody is completely shocked by this horse. <laughs> the reactions from pretty much everybody in the game are super funny. All right, come over here, speak with Mr. Paddock. We're gonna call this horse Charles, which is, you know, the full name for Chad. 
Ah. I know I have points saved up. Let's go. All right. Charles the horse. Here you go. Yep, we are going to name this beautiful horse Charles. And then uh, we're going to take it with us. My other horse, Whack, is going back into the stable. And then, as you can see, a harness is now on the horse. But this is the only harness you can use. Anything else, uh, every single stable master will be like, uh, I don't think the horse wants us to do that. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, starting from the stable again, we are going to go southwest along this road through Harfin Valley and then into Pepetto Grove. And then we're going to start climbing up here. Huh. Huh. Oh, we are actually going the wrong way. Like I said, it's a wild horse. You got to build the bond as you go, but it goes by pretty quick. I have never seen spurs show up on this thing, uh, and I've been using it for a while in my other playthrough, so... Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I'm not 100% sure on that. In any event, we are going through this pass here. Uh, just look out for the bacoblins on these perches. They shouldn't bother you. Yeah. Just be on the lookout. Okay. And then we're going to come through here, and then the road is basically going to end. We have a pirate ship here. Oh, oh. Ignore that. Make sure we're going in the right direction. Yep. Going into Pepetto Grove. Okay. And then the gentleman who wants to see the horse is high up on this ridge here. Way up there where that uh, smoke is coming from. So we're going to turn right over here. And then we are going to start climbing this little mountain here. However, if you'd like, you can actually dip into the woods here, and as long as the enemies don't bother you, you should have an okay time uh, climbing over here. It should be a little bit better. All right, so this slope here, the grade shouldn't be too bad. And so we can begin climbing here. Just walk it along the green, should be okay. If the horse gets stuck at any point, doesn't want to go up, you can uh, just hold ZL and then move up. All right. I may have to move over. Like I said, this is the hardest part, is climbing this little hill here. Okay, go ahead, get up there. Very good. Okay, we should be good the rest of the way. And then once you reach the top part, you want to start turning right and then head towards the campfire. Come over here and then turn right. And we have a straight shot to the campfire now. So all we got to do is talk to the gentleman at the campfire and then he will be amazed at the size of our horse. He will thank us for showing it to him. And then he will give us the crystal, and then we can just bring the crystal right to the shrine. All right. Go ahead and back up. Talk to him. And he says, that horse, that horse, it's even bigger than I imagined. The widely rumored giant stallion. The horse that's whinnied me in my dreams. There it is in the flesh. It's giant. It's a horse. It's a giant horse. I've never felt so lucky to be alive. Thank you so much for introducing me to this wonderful once-in-a-lifetime horse. How can I possibly thank you enough? What if I gave you this nice shiny crystal? I picked it up as I was passing through. I was thinking about using it to deck out my horse to make it the best-looking beast the world's ever seen, but when I saw that giant stallion you showed me, I realized I'd been a fool. There's no improving on a horse, any horse. They're perfect to begin with, so I won't be needing the crystal. You can do whatever you like with it. Okay, so you can speak with the crystal. It says, follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so, and I will offer you a light that banishes evil, and it's not too far off. The shrine ring is just over here. And this is why I recommend registering the horse, because this means you could just leave it here, 
and uh, then just summon it at another stable. Otherwise, you would have to ride it all the way back to the other stable and, uh, you know, register it then. So it's just easier to do it once you get it. But this is it. You just bring the shrine crystal to the shrine ring. It creates the shrine. And like I said before, it is a Roru's blessing style shrine. So it's just a reward in there. No extra challenge. That's it. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can do so by becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.